Hey guys, so I thought today I'd film a drugstore, all drugstore, full face um, makeup tutorial. Uh, I have a lot of drugstore makeup, so I think I'm going to do a few more of these. Um, but yeah, basically I centered the whole look around this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow because it's so amazing. And this Jordana lipstick, because I really wanted to try it out. I just got it. It's in matte, cla matte classy. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you did. And don't forget to like it, and subscribe to me. Thanks, bye! So I already primed my lids with this e.l.f. Uh, eyelid primer. I don't... This probably expired, this is really old, but it works really well. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the crease. I'm going to use this NYX Matte Bronzer. Always when I'm doing drugstore stuff is to put... Um, the easiest way is to put a bronzer in the crease, because... The drugstore for some reason does not sell a lot of good matte, nice crease colors like I'm gonna take a denser brush and just go. I think I wanna do a halo eye today. I'm just gonna go more in the outer third and the inner. But not right in that inner corner because I still want to highlight right there because it just opens up the eyes a bit more. Oh, I forgot to say, I already did my eyebrows. I used the NYX brow pencil in taupe and I used the brow gel. Yeah, this brow gel in um, brunette. And I kind of cheated. I also used Anastasia clear brow gel, but... If you get it at Ulta when they have a sale, they have like a one day a month sale sometimes for those where they're like $10. So I was like, that's kind of drugstore price. I cheated, basically, is like what I'm getting at. But um, <laughs> to lighten up the crease a bit, I'm going to use this Maybelline shadow uh, called Earthy Taupe. I've never used this. I don't know how. It's very powdery. I know that for sure. Okay. Oh, this looks pretty good. If you're pale, this is a pretty good transition color from the drugstore. I don't think if you're any darker than me, it would really work out for you. So I think I'm going to take this shade from the Maybelline The Nudes palette. Honestly, this palette really is not that great. Um, I don't know. Let's see how this works. Every time I've tried it, it's been a little... It's just been kind of hard to work with, so I don't know. that color is an exception okay so I'm just gonna blend that out yeah these are a little uh, not that I don't know let me zoom you in I don't know why I haven't been zooming in I just realized this whole eye look has not I haven't zoomed in okay so it blends out a little patchy or uh, it's it's okay It's okay. There's a lot of fallout though, so I gotta redo that center because it looks like I'm. I lost it a bit. I just took this shade right there. Okay, now for the best part of the eye look, probably. It's this L'Oreal Infallible. I'm sure you've seen this. Everyone on YouTube wears this. It's in Amber Rush. And it just, oh my god, it's so pretty. It looks so good on so many different skin tones. It gives a different effect to, like, everyone, I feel like. Um, I'm just going to apply that with my finger to the center. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh my god, the camera is not even doing it justice. It's so pretty. You just have to... You just have to get it, basically. Well, this video's gonna be so long. I'm just rambling on today. What the hell? Oh my god. I've never heard that noise before. That was so weird. What was I doing? I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I figured out I'm gonna use this. Maybelline Eye 
studio quad. I know, it's so old. I've had this for like six years, I think. But it's in copper chic, chic. They still sell it, I think. I, I could have sworn I saw it last time. And I'm cheating one more time. <laughs> I have to use Fix Plus with it. They have other finishing sprays at the drugstore. You could even, maybe, I've never tried this, use like a the NYX um, finishing spray. Um, I've never tried that, but I know e.l.f. has like a fixing spray which is like what you probably need more than a setting spray um to make shadows just more intense i like to spray this looks so weird but i like to go like this so i get my face too so i don't waste any sprays because it's expensive i didn't even say i'm using these two colors i'm mixing them together Last time I went to MAC, um, my friend went to go buy some Fix Plus, and they were like, oh, it's sold out in all of California. What? I'm just going to do, I've never done this. So I'm this here. I've done it with gel liner, but I've never done it with one of these pencil liners. I'm just going to put it on my upper lash line and then blend it out. Okay, I'm stressed out. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. So actually, I'm going to go in with some gel liner. I'm going to use the Maybelline Ice. I'm not, I'm not feeling this. I mean, I am, but I feel like the black gel liner will cover it a bit more. And then I'm going to put on some mascara. As usual, in every single video, I have Luminous Miss Manga and L'Oreal Telescopic. so I don't even know why I'm I put this in my last video they're my favorite lashes right now they're the Kiss Ever Easy uh, number 11s and they're just so baby put on some duo Okay, I love these lashes, but they are not as easy to apply as freaking Ardell's. So for some reason, the lashes were like a real struggle for me today. I think it's because I got a new pair. Um, yeah, I think they're okay. I'm going to have to touch up on the eyes later. I'm going to wait until the glue fully dries. For now, I'll just do my um, baby skin. I did not like this at first, but um, I don't know. It works well when my skin's really dry. I really like it. So I'm going to use this. I never hear anyone talking about this, but the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. Um, I, Shan XO did a video on it like a long time ago, but um, I like it. It's only $6. I mean, another alternative that everyone likes is the L'Oreal Infallible, which is definitely better i i would say i think this is a, this is a better foundation i like this one a lot but it's 15 dollars, so i don't know it's it's technically drugstore but i mean that's kind of ridiculous i think 15 dollars um yeah i haven't been putting foundation all over my whole face just kind of like in my t-zone and like where i feel like i need it because i don't want to waste product on like right here where it like i don't have anything going on i just I realized that I was wasting so much foundation and going through it so fast and I was just like, why am I doing this? Kind of buff it in. Oh, another thing about the baby skin is I would not say it's a pore eraser because no matter what foundation I put on top of it, you can still see my pores for sure. 
it's not like horrible it's not like it accentuates my pores but I would not call it a pore eraser it's my concealer so I'm gonna use my favorite concealer it's the NYX HD concealer it's not even my favorite like from the drugstore like it's like my favorite concealer ever The only thing I don't like about it is the applicator. It's a little rough. Like, it's just a doe flip, but it's a little rough around my eyes. I mean, maybe I just got a bad one because I haven't heard anyone else say that, but I don't know. Also, it doesn't pick up a lot of product. So for setting my whole face, even my under eyes, I'm going to use this um, Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, you can get this at Walmart anywhere, and I like it for under my eyes and for um, all of my face. The only thing is, is I hate the smell. It's, it's like old lady smell. And then for my face, I like to just take this little thing that it comes with. And just go for it just like and it looks like what the hell are you doing but then I just go like this just kind of set it in place and I swear if you're oily you will be like good all day you'll be totally fine this this has worked so well for me um, like my foundation does not move if I do my powder like this so for bronzer, I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. No, I just realized I don't have a drugstore contour powder. Um, you can use a powder that's too dark for you. Um, or you can use the NYC, or MYX, NYX, but, um, taupe blush. But I'm going to see if I have maybe like an eyeshadow or something that I can use. Okay, I've never tried this before and I'm like really scared, but I'm going to use this color from the Nudes palette. It looks like nothing on camera, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with this really small brush, so if I mess up, it's not tragic. It was one of those little things that come with like benefit blushes. That's a strong contour, but I think it's good. It's, I'm pretty impressed. So to sharpen up my contour even more, even though it's like pretty sharp, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, contouring palette. I'm gonna use the highlight shade and just put it under. You can bake or cook with this, I think. I don't know. Actually, I think you're supposed to use a loose powder, but I just like I just like to dust it on. I feel like that does enough. Also, I'm just going to put a little bit in my T-zone because why not? Right? And then for blush, I'm going to use this blush. I um, <laughs> It's NYC Cheek Glow in West Side Wine. It's so random, but I got it on clearance at Target for like $2, and I wear it all the time. It just is such a nice, warm... I'm gonna use... It's a little... Eh, it's a little too dark for me, this highlight. I might mix it with... Yeah, I'm gonna mix it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this Hard Candy Tiki highlighter, which is just little too golden for me and then I'm gonna mix this um, this shade in the nudes palette wow I like how I was like I hate the nudes palette and then I use it for everything in this whole tutorial yeah okay this nudes palette the shimmer in this sucks no that's not gonna work out I'm just going to go in with Tiki. That's not doing anything for me. So I think I want to do like a really smoked out lower lash line, which like I never do. Look at me doing all these new things. Okay.
bronzer that I used in my crease and then also that um, matte brown shade that I used from the Nudes palette. So yeah, I think this look is finished. Oh wait, no, lips. Okay, I'm taking my NYX Mauve lip liner. Actually, I'm going to sharpen my NYX Mauve lip liner. And I'm overdrawing in the center because I always do. And then I'm going to take this Jordana lipstick in, Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Classy. Add the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London just to kind of lighten it a bit. And then just wait for that to dry. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Why did I smell? Uh, anyways. Bye! What to do when you completely mess up your eyelashes. Okay, restart, I guess. It's a little dark for me, but... I don't care. So I'm taking my next... Oh. I just put it all over. When a mascara is too, like, wet. At all. I don't know where, what they're doing, but, but yeah, this one's really nice. Alright, so I think it's done. Do I want to do liner? Yes. Um, what do I think is nice? I don't know. I have some dry. I never know how to say that, and I feel like I say it in every video. But, um, oh, so pretty. It's just like, oh, I'm so pretty. Look at my cheek glow. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, enjoyed it. You didn't watch it yet. I'm gonna put that in the bloopers because. Mm -hmm.